Okay, so my name is Logan, and today on Puzzle English Live, we will talk about American slang, and especially slang from Ohio. Yarashkuju vam ob slang Amerikanskam slang v tom chisli i is my vor radnvo stata Ohio. So, in America, like in Russia, we obviously like to eat. Um, we also like to eat fresh food, hot food. Um, but to do this, we need a microwave. Microwaves use radiation to heat the food. And we ironically uh, talk about heating our food with radiation by saying that we want to nuke our food. We want to nuke some water because nuclear reactors also have radiation. So you're nuking the food. So it's an ironic play on words. For, for example, um, I want a hot plate of spaghetti that was in the, the refrigerator. So I'm going to get some spaghetti. I'm going to throw it in the microwave. And I'm going to nuke it. Does anyone else want some? In American culture, we like risk. Risk is a big concept that comes from business. And here, business informs the culture. Um, and our term here, risky business, comes from a movie in the 80s. Risky business. Risky business can be either a good thing. It can be a reference to you making a large profit, uh, getting involved in something that could get, yield a large profit, or you could be in serious trouble. That's risky business. Don't do that. Oh, that's risky business. You might do really well after this. Um, so if you are interested in basically any show about the American legal system or about American crime, um, for instance, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, pick your favorite. Um, basically, they do lots of really foolish things. Um, but they do it because they're interested in it and continuing with it. Nonetheless. Uh, they have to decide when it's, when it's too risky. So danger is what we're concerned with. And when it's dangerous, we say, it's too hot. It's too hot. Don't do it. Don't go out. It's too many cops. Um, that deal that you made at Arby's, that place is radioactive now. You don't want to go there again. It's bad. So just stay home or find a new place. Sometimes we forget things. We forget that our cell phone is in our hand, or we forget that our cell phone is in our pocket. At these times when our logic fails us, we're having brain farts. Brain farts can also be uh, replaced with, I'm malfunctioning. I just malfunctioned. I just had a glitch. Well, you could also say, I short circuited. These are all similar concepts concerning memory. Okay. So in America, we have several regions. We have the East Coast with New York, the West Coast with California, several other places. I'm from the Midwest in Ohio. And in Ohio, we don't drink soda. We don't drink seltzer water. We drink pop. Pop refers to all colas and um, every soda, but not seltzer water. That's a very important idea to remember. Our next idea, snookered. Snookered has two meanings. It could mean uh, that you are a victim of fraud. I've been snookered. My stockbroker just sold me some bad stocks. I've been snookered. They lied to me. Or it could be a reference to being tired. I just worked outside all day and I dug tr trenches. I cut down trees. All sorts of things. I'm snookered. I want to go sleep. Bye. So at the end of the day, when you've worked and you're snookered and you want to relax, you want to call your friends over and you want to have some beers. We call beer, in this case and in others, brews. This is a reference to the fact that beers are brewed. Um, if you want to be more affectionate with the brews, with the beers that you're drinking, you can call them brewskis. An example, um, we're going to have some friends over and we're going to have some brews. Later in the night, for instance, you might have had a few too many drinks and you might actually want another one. 
So you could kind of slovenly say, hey, hand me another brewski. I need one more. Hey, Johnny, how about a beer, huh? Ooh, a couple Charles Bukowski's? A couple of Brustoyevsky's? Maybe a Mike Brugaslowski? Perhaps a Teddy Brewski? That's a good one. Когда что-то идет никак, мы говорим, ой, ай, черт, я наступил на хвост своей кошки. Блин, это плохой ситуация. А как сказать так по-английски? Волкаю, мой, мой, мой скажем. Уф, уф, да. Ой, ве, отъедешь. О, или geez. Geez is very Midwestern. It's very relaxed. It's very polite. So you'll fit right in. Anyway, these are some basic things we say in America and Ohio. And uh, it was great chatting, chatting with everyone today. So let me know in the comments if you liked the video. And don't forget to subscribe to Puzzle English Live. Thanks again. It's a